Ride with me as we do a neighborhood drive through tour of the Red Point Square Village. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll! roll. Everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. And if you're thinking about moving to Summerlin, go ahead and reach out to me. I'm your Summerlin expert at 702-370-5112. So let's get started. We're B, we are B, we're going to be doing a neighborhood drive through tour of the Red Point Square Village. I did this almost three years ago, two and a half years ago, mm -hmm. when it was developed in 2020, around August or so of 2020. And so, and I've done one maybe a year ago, and so much has changed since then that I thought it was very important to do this video. Now, Red Point Square is off of Far Hills 215, and you had Far Hills mm -hmm. West, and we're going to take a right right here on Carriage Hill. So we're going to go through it, see how much it's developed over the last two and a half years. So much has grown so much. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just crazy. And it's fun to look at my old Red Point Square Village tour because of the changes. Um, now, they're nearing completion in this village. So there are some others that are a little more. And let's see how what these bikers are doing. Yep, here we go. They have a hand sign, so they can't go technically. <laughs> All right. So the first community we're going to take a tour of is actually Highline 1 mm -hmm. and 2 by Lennar Homes. We were up here a couple weeks ago with a client, and we were showing some quick move-in homes that they have available. This is a condo community. It is a gated community, and they will have a pool and a park in this community, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's the first kind of not the first but it's right here so I'm gonna go in order to the right is the police station which is nice mm -hmm. you're nice and protected so Highline 1 um, has three different floor plans to choose from ranging in size between 1760 square feet to about 1956 square feet with three to four bedrooms a loft and two and a half to three bathrooms and they all have two car garages so these first two buildings are the mm -hmm. model homes and then Highline 2 ranges in size between 1448 square feet to 1786 square feet with two to three bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms. And again, they all have two car garages. Now Highline 2 is priced in the low 400s where Highline 1 is priced in the higher 500s. So this has been around, actually it's probably, if you give me the phone, I'll take the video because this looks like a better... You got it better view. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a shot of all the homes while we, we are driving. Thank you. So they have a lot of great floor plans in this community and they are nice. I mean, they're good size too. Mm -hmm. Like Highline 1, the biggest floor plans like 1800 square feet, four bedrooms, a bedroom downstairs. And then Highline 2, we really liked the Brooklyn. Our client really liked the Brooklyn. And um, it was fun to see that floor plan, right? It was, yes. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really pretty. Yeah, so if you're looking for a more affordable home in Summerlin West, these townhomes are for you, I think. And the nice thing about this little community is it's going to be super close to the urban core mm. once it's fully developed. And so the idea behind Red Point Square was to um, have more condensed houses, more diverse type of houses, and more affordable type of houses mm. for anyone that wants to live in the Summerlin zip code. Okay. That's the one that your client was looking at right there. It had a really cool uh, kitchen. Yeah, that but, was a nice one. Yeah. Um, and then another thing about in Highline or in Red Point Square Village, we have several builders. You have Taylor Morrison, KB Homes, Richmond American, Toll Brothers, Lennar, and Woodside Homes. So there's a handful of builders. Um, Highline is not near completion like some of the other ones that we will be visiting. Um, some of them are already closed out, mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting. Again, this village has been around for two and a half years. and 
they'll probably be finished by the end of this year, I would imagine. Maybe not because Cordillera, <laughs> you know, Toll Brothers takes a while. They're moving pretty fast in here, though. Yes, definitely. Now, the monthly HOA fees, um, you have two HOA fees. You have Summerlin West of $55. Then you have Highline of $165. So total is $220 a month. And then you also have SIDS, which are $404 annually, $404 annually. So we just did a little loop around this community. We've been listening to a lot of the 80s channel on Sirius XM. Ah, uh, <laughs> the golden years. Yes, this is a good song. <laughs> it is. Cutting Crew, I Just Died in Your Arms Tonight, came out in 1987. Uh, the sad thing is, is YouTube is like really buckling down on, um, on music. Yeah, they, they are. Licensing and so forth. So we really can't blast our music. Otherwise, they'll be like, ah. Uh, you infringed on the YouTube rules or whatever. We do like to play the music game that we try to guess the, the name of the song in the band. Yep. I'm pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. Oh, me too. Yeah. Keep up with you. So there's looks like there's two gated entries into yeah. this community. Yes. So now we're going to take a look at Ascent by KB Homes. And this is not a gated community. They are completely sold out of this community. They have been for a while. Mm -hmm. To the right is Obsidian, which we will take a look at shortly. So here's Ascent. And these homes, they have 137 two-story units with six different floor plans to choose from, ranging in size between 1448 square feet, 1890 square feet, with three to four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and two car garages. So I'm gonna have Damien record what some of these, this would have been a good row. Yeah. So now the only caveat to some of these townhome communities here in Summerlin is, as you can see, the driveway is very short. Um, some of them will have longer driveways, but these are very short, so you will not be able to park your car on the side of this road, or obviously you can't park in the driveway. But then when we turn around this corner, this will have bigger driveways. These ones sold out really fast. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when they opened up and because of the affordability, when they first opened up, I don't have the prices, um, but they were pretty affordable back in, in the day. Ascent. There's a Obsidian right there. No. Yep. Now we're going to go to Obsidian by Woodside Homes. And they are near completion here. They have a handful of quick move in homes. And these are two and three story floor plans. And they range in size between 1440 square feet to 1598, sorry, 1854 square feet with two to three bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms and priced from the low 500s. Um, they have one, two, three, four, five different floor plans to choose from. And we were back in here a couple weeks ago with a different client looking at um, a lot of the quick movements here and they're very nice too. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, they don't have big garages or the or driveways. driveways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I see the phone? Yes. So we have to make sure we get it at the great sun so you can see it. The angle. The angle and everything. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's a single empty lot available. Looks like all that you're going to be able to find in here are quick move-in homes. Mm -hmm. They're very pretty. I like the architectural design of these. A lot of the mid-century modern are very modern, which the boxy look that mm -hmm. they have. Um, this looks like it has decent driveways on this side. It's a great little community. Yeah, I like the covered driveway idea too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And the monthly HOAs for this community, again, for Summerlin West is $55 a month. For Obsidian, it's $87 a month. So total HOA is $142. 
and the SIDS annually is 522. So most of the communities in this village will not be gated with the exception of the Highline community and then also, um, I think it was called Cascades by Taylor Morrison. Those are the two gated communities. Everything else is non-gated. It's pretty through here with the trees. Yeah. Yeah, even though this is a new construction community, they did very well with planting more mature trees. Mm -hmm. So to the right and left of us is going to be Morrow Rock and Morrow Point, which is a townhome community. They had two different floor plans to choose from. You had the Boston and the Chicago. One was 1510, the other one was 1520, with three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and two car garages. They are have completely sold out, and from what I understand, they're only selling the models. We're gonna take a tour of Morrow Point. Um, just to show you how fast. Now this, again, mm. sold out super fast. Again, because of the affordability factor, mm -hmm. um, these ranged, when Morrow Point or Rock opened, uh, no, we're gonna go right here. I know, but you can go straight through now too. Oh yeah. Um, when the community first opened for Morrow Rock, it was priced in the low 300s. That's pretty good. Yes. And then when Morrow Point, the last houses sold, they were priced in the high 400s so it's that's interesting. a lot of equity yeah it's a lot of equity but it's interesting from one community to the other how much of a price difference it was Moro Rock oh, was the first community to open up in the Red Point Square Village mm. oh I misunderstood I see okay so if you can get your camera ready yep. mm -hmm. these are two attached townhomes together one will be the Chicago one will be the Boston and I like that this has a nice driveway. Now the only odd thing is, is that your front is your garage and your back is your front. So there's a path that will walk all the way to the front so you can get to the front of your house. Um, so that's the only thing. You don't really have any real yard space here. Um, and look at that, that's Cordillera. Cool. Oh, whoops. It's too bright. It's right. Nice. So it looks like they're just finishing up here. Clouder Spring. It's an interesting name for a road. And then right there is Obsidian. So these are more like city-like houses, townhouses where your fronts are right there. I don't know how I'd feel about having my front yard right there where the walking path is, just mm -hmm. because people walking by and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of like how these are, the fronts are right here. I mean, it kind of looks cool. Yeah. But I don't know how, I'm sure it's Summerlin, it's safe, but for me personally, I wouldn't want to have my front right there. Well, I, I kind of get the urban vibe. From yes. This, though. Yes. I, mean, I think that's kind of what they're going for. Right. In this area, maybe. So then we're going to go take a look at Morrow Rock mm -hmm. again by Richmond American, and these are the same as Morrow Point, the same two models, the same two floor plans, and these are two attached townhomes put together. And right there, straight ahead oh, yeah. okay. to the right, was the model homes. Yep. And so now Quick they're selling now. it. Yep quick moving that's all they have left all done everything's finished yep huh interesting yeah it's a nice neighborhood again I want to point out straight ahead you can see the driveways and then some of them are gonna have longer driveways than others and they have a cute little park in this community as well oh, okay oh yeah it goes all the way down mm-hmm Yeah, they're nice townhomes. So for affordability purposes, if you want to live in Summerlin and you don't need a super big house, 1,500 square feet, this is a great option for you. Now we're gonna go over to check out Toll Brothers community called Cordillera. 
and these are considered townhomes as well. They're all three stories with some of them have an option for a rooftop deck. Mm. And I think they had what, four different floor plans to choose from, do you remember? Uh, yeah, I think One, there's, two, three. there's three. There's three, yep. Yep, three different floor plans to choose from. And they range in size between 1803 square feet to 2154 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two baths and two half baths. And they all have two attached garages. So these are pretty very modern looking. I think the Renata is the biggest and then the Luciana is the second. Could the, be. And I forget what the, the smaller one is. Um, that one is called the Casella. Oh, the Casella, thanks. And yes. then the ones that have the rooftop deck will have the Grande attached oh, to it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's not much to really look here. There's only a few that's uh, mm -hmm. almost ready. Now with Toll Brothers, it takes a very long time for them to build. Um, they have a few what they call QMIs or quick move-ins, but technically they're not really quick move-ins mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because it takes forever, uh, but they may have these ones that are ready. I don't know if anyone's fully living in this community just yet. And then these are the ones that they're building. So this one will take a while um, to complete. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it'll be ready by year's end just because of how long Toll Brothers homes take. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, though. a Tesla charging station. Yeah, they have a Tesla charging station. They will have a community pool in this community. And that's one nice thing I really like about Toll Brothers is that all of these communities have community pools. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that this is not going to be gated. They are priced in the mid 500s. Sorry, I'm parked because I'm waiting for a guy to drive by. Now the monthly HOA is $55 for Summerlin West, $148 for Cordillera, totaling $203 a month. Now I can see why some people have a problem with these two HOAs. Normally in a community, you will have two HOAs if it is gated. You will have the master HOA and then you have the community HOA. But since this one's not gated and Morrow Point, Morrow Rock and Ascent and um, Obsidian are not gated, it's kind of weird to have two HOA fees. So the one thing I do like is that Summerlin HOA fees are very reasonable compared to a lot of other master plan communities. So $55 to have access to all of the Summerlin amenities is pretty good. Oh yeah, it's a great deal. Now I think Summerlin North HOA is like $60 now and then Summerlin South is $57. Um, but relatively they haven't gone up too much over the years. And you know, there's other master plan communities that don't have as many amenities as Summerlin that charge a lot more. You know, this is where the pool's gonna be right there. Oh, right there? Yeah. So, ooh. It's open. It's open. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna speed, guys. Cascades. Cascades, because last time we were over here, we couldn't get into Cascades. Thank you, good sir. Yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you. And this is by Taylor Morrison. And this community has six different floor plans to choose from, and they're the exact same models as Crested Canyon. Here, give me the phone. Yeah, your side. My side's better. They're the exact same models as the Crested Canyon where you have the Acacia, the Beach, and the Cedar. And then you have the Acacia, Beach, and Cedar Plus where you have three stories. So they're two and three story floor plans, um, which is nice. So this one that's in front of us is three story, three story, two story. So this one sold out pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And so since these were very popular floor plans, they decided to take it over to Crested Canyon and I do believe in Palmer Ranch in the North Las Vegas, they also have these same floor plans. A lot of people like to have that option of the third story so that they can have beautiful views. Now these range in size between 1649 square feet to 2242 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms and two car garages. Now when they first opened, the prices started in the high three hundreds. Oh, wow. So this is when they first opened. And I remember when this community first opened, it was maybe the fall of 2020 and every lot release that they had, the prices kept on going, wow. going up, going up, going up. And it was amazing the difference in a month or two, how much the prices went up. So it's crazy. Now this is again, completely sold out. Mm -hmm. Um, and it looks like they do have some resale homes. In I, this do. I saw two so far. Yeah. Maybe three. So if you want to buy, call me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, at the time, the HOA fees, again, Sumlin West is $55. And then Cascades is $136 a month 
which is a total of $184 a month, and the SIDS were $382 semi-annually. So those are all the homes in the Red Point Square Village. As you can see, Cascades and Highline are the only two that are gated, where the others are not gated. We're going to drive around a little ways, and I'm going to show you where they're going to have a community park. Yes. So there's going to be a community park in between the Red Point Square Village and Red Point. So that's going to be a large linear park um, in between the two villages. And then on the north side of Red Point Square, you're going to have the Summerlin Parkway and then the new urban core. Ooh. So that's going to be nice as well. That should potentially bring property values up, right? I would imagine because there's not a lot of shopping in Summerlin West. I'm not sure what they were thinking when they kept on building here in Summerlin West. There's only one shopping center, which is... Um, Downtown Summerlin? That one? Or no. That, no. That's no, too far let's away. Let's let this guy. Yeah, let's let this guy go. Hey. Okay. Okay. So there's only one shopping center, which is over in Desert Foothills in Charleston, mm. which is the Albertsons Shopping Center. The Baby Stacks is yes. there. So right here to the left, I know you can't really see it, actually. Let me Let's get the this. phone out. Yeah, just do that. It's going to be this large community park. And we can see the walking trail already. So they've been really working on it. It's going to be exciting to kind of see how big this park is going to be. They're putting trees in. Yeah, they're putting trees in. What's it going to entail? All that good stuff. One nice. day, soon. So that concludes our driving tour of the Red Point Square Village. Let us know in the comments what you think of this tour. And also, let me know if you saw a difference between when I did it over a year ago till now. There was a huge difference. Mm. It's amazing how much things have built up in the last year and a half. Um, expect new growth, lots of new villages coming to Summerlin. There's about five more villages that it will be hitting Summerlin West in the near future. And we have Kestrel Commons and Kestrel Village being built as we speak. And there's a new village that we just learned about called Ascension mm -hmm. oh. um, in Summerlin South. Mm -hmm. I am your Summerlin expert. I live and breathe Summerlin, so if you are looking to buy or sell in the Summerlin Master Plan community, you must give me a call at 702-370-5112. Or you can also text me or oh, yeah. you can also email me yes. at theoharteamlv at gmail.com. Or visit her website. At yes. Neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com. Dot com, where I go in great detail of all the villages in Summerlin and neighborhoods in not just Summerlin, neighborhoods in Vegas as mm -hmm. well. Hence the name. Hence the name. <laughs> I think there's 24 villages in Summerlin, correct? 24, 25 now. Somewhere right there. Because yeah. we got the new one that's coming up. Ascension. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Anyway. Cool. Anyway, guys, make sure, most importantly, that you like and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you on the next video tour. Peace out. <laughs>